is Damien Marangon. I'm the CEO of Shooting Australia. I'm extremely proud to be standing up here today representing the Australian Commonwealth Games Association and also Shooting Australia to announce the shooting athletes going to the 2014 Glasgow Commonwealth Games. I'd like to just quickly acknowledge the Australian Commonwealth Games Association who, who aren't here but are a huge partner and support of Shooting Australia and, and we wouldn't be here sending the athletes we are without their help so I would certainly like to thank them. I'd just like to acknowledge also Kelvin Prescott here representing the Shooting Australia Board and the Chairman of Selectors uh, which as you can imagine is a quite an important position when you're selecting a team of this importance so thank you Kelvin. The other group that I really want to acknowledge is all of the shooters who participated in any competition or selection event leading into this. It's always quite a rigorous process. It went for about 14 months and without those shooters uh, who participated in those selection events, particularly our shadow squad and also our high performance members, the athletes here being selected today wouldn't have had that practice and that rigorous training. So I, I would like to acknowledge all those shooters not being selected today for, for the role they've played. The Commonwealth Games are synonymous with Australia and Australian sport and they're a critical part of, of the landscape. And I'm, I'm really privileged today to be standing here to be uh, adding 29 more names to that honour roll. Just before I announce the athletes, I'd just like to start by announcing, I guess, the people that are often forgotten, our support staff. Um, and they will be led by Tim Mann, our section manager. So congratulations to you, Tim. Also to our four coaches, uh, Peter Kirker, our rifle coach, Valerie Timikin, our shotgun coach, Vladimir Galiabovic, our pistol coach, and also Graham Cleary, our full ball rifle coach. So if you could just join with me in congratulating Tim and our support staff. I know we've got some athletes here who are quite nervous and um, there's quite a lot of anticipation about this. I'm going to start by announcing the pistol team representing Australia at the 2014 Commonwealth Games and they are L Lolita Yevlevskaya, Hayley Chapman, Emily Esposito, Daniel Rapacoli, Bruce Quick, Blake Blackburn and David Chapman. They will be the seven pistol shooters representing Australia at the 2014 Commonwealth Games. <laughs> Now, we're extremely lucky to just have two of these athletes here today representing those seven shooters and I'm going to ask them to come up in just a minute just to have a quick chat to them but just before I do, the reason that I started with the pistol events is that there is a first that's about to happen for Australia at this Commonwealth Games and that is the first father-daughter to ever represent at the same Commonwealth Games together and we're lucky enough to have them both in the sport of shooting so I'd like to welcome forward Hayley and David Chapman. So, Dan, what is it you're looking forward to the most? Um, yeah, just to um, probably have a reunion with uh, my uh, equivalent in India, uh, their top shooter, uh, Vijay Kumar, has uh, um, made a bit of a relationship with him over the last couple of Com games, and it's good to catch up on um, a couple of emails and then uh, rival each other a bit, rib, rib each other a bit. So yeah, it'd uh, be good to compete against him again and uh, hopefully uh, go one up on him this time. Absolutely go one up on him. Yeah. And I guess the obvious question, but what does it mean to you also to be going to a Commonwealth Games, but more importantly, with your daughter alongside of you? Yeah, it's, uh, well, deja vu a little bit, I think. Yeah. We're, um, it's been a, a wonderful blessing over the, the journey um, with uh, London Olympics, uh, the first time we competed together, and then uh, then again now in uh, for uh, Scotland one, so Scotland Com Games. It's it's just it's just um, you're not emotional, but it's 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 a wonderful experience to be there with uh, with with a daughter or a, or a family member and, and competing uh, in the sport you love so much. Yeah, great. Yeah. And then Hayley, to you, what does it mean for you to have your dad there at a Commonwealth Games and your first Commonwealth Games? Yeah, my first. It's I think it's a good thing, like really important to me that Dad's there, not just like because we're competing together, but for support. Like it's, it's going to be there. He's going to be there watching me, and that's guaranteed. And that's mm. what I'm really looking forward to. So apart from having your dad alongside of you, what else are you looking forward to to your at your first Commonwealth Games? Um, food. <laughs> I knew <you> that. <laughs> the food court. No, no, no. Um, the food court was great in London, but the. 
Scotland itself, the country. We would be great to visit the place and see the scenery around. Um, apparently it's a stunning country, so mm. that'll be good to see. But of course competing, our mm. Commonwealth Games, it's, it'll be amazing. Mm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together, making history for Australia. <laughs> and on to our small ball rifle team. So the eight people that have been selected to represent Australia in small ball rifle are Alethea Sedgman, Robin Ridley, Emma Adams, Jennifer Hens, Dane Sampson, Michael Brown, Jack Rossiter, and Warren Potent. Ladies and gentlemen, they're the eight people representing Australia. Please put your hands up. And I'd like to welcome forward two of our youngest athletes and certainly the babies of this team, potentially two of the youngest athletes that have ever represented Australia at a Commonwealth Games, and that is Emma Adams and Jack Rossiter. <laughs> I'll start with you, Jack, just so that Emma is the real baby the team can, can get her breath. So, Jack, 16 years of age. Yep. Can you believe it? You're off to a Commonwealth Games. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> yeah. I know that it's been, I guess, uh, a bit of a, a whirlwind for you in terms of your performance and your scores, so, you know, a year ago, were you thinking that you could make it to a Commonwealth Games? A year ago, I wasn't thinking about it. I was hoping I could just shoot well at the time, just going along competition by competition, and turned out that I've shot well recently, good enough so I can make the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, great. And so, Jack, what are you looking forward to? As a 16-year-old, one of the youngest, and you'll be one of the babies of the team, what is it you're looking forward to at a Commonwealth Games? Um, I'm looking forward to competing, mostly. That's... That'll be the best bit of the trip, I reckon. Yeah. Uh, I'm not looking for anything in particular, just to shoot well, shoot my best. Yep. Great, and I'm sure you will. And we'll all be behind you as will all of Australia. And Emma, at 15 years of age, truly the baby of the team. So a bit like Jack, it's been quite a dramatic, I guess, rise for you. First World Cup last year, and now here you are named for Australia competing in the Commonwealth Games. So where's your mind at at the moment? proud of myself that I've got this far and I'm very confident that I can do well, I think. Yep. Yeah. And so again, at your first ever Commonwealth Games, what is it that is it good? Well, I'm going to ask you this both ways because at 15, what is it that is scaring you the most, but then what is it that you're looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to the scenery and all the pretty mountains and hopefully nice weather. Mm -hmm. But I don't like Right. Well, Scotland's pretty close, so you won't have to worry about that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, two of our babies of the team, and we wish them well, and we know they'll do Australia proud, Emma Adams and Jack Lockett. <laughs> and on to our full ball rifle team. Uh, there's two athletes here that will be representing Australia at the Glasgow Commonwealth Games, and they are Geoffrey Grenfell and James Corbett. So well done to those two. And we're really lucky to have here today James Corbett. So I'd like to ask James to come forward. So James, first Commonwealth Games in 1986, I think. Um, if my research is right, six medals. Um, just went and won the Queen's Prize, the unofficial World Championships in your discipline. Mm -hmm. But I think there's one colour missing from those Commonwealth Games medals. Tell us about that. Yeah, look, it doesn't um, worry me per se. I mean, whenever you go away, you look to be competitive and uh, it's always nice to be in the medals. And yeah. if that happens to be the preferred colour, well, um, I'll be happy to. And we will be with you, don't worry, James. <laughs> and so, James, for you, I guess, often in your discipline, you wouldn't get the opportunity to mix with all of these other disciplines at a Commonwealth Games. So what does going to a Com Games and being part of a team that is 29 athletes strong mean to you? Uh, well, it sort of um, becomes apparent when you're travelling the aircraft, the larger team, which is, as you mentioned today, some 500 odd strong, mm. uh, then divided into the shooting team, which is the people that you more associate with, and then divided down into the full ball team where there's just the three of us. Mm. So you're part of a very large team, uh, and the camaraderie is very good. Mm. Uh, and look, I've enjoyed all of my trips. Um, I think. For me, if I look at a competition 
what I'm looking for is is a well-run and fair competition, number one, and then obviously the best person will come out in front. Yeah. And James, we hope, as you do, that that's you for Australia. So congratulations and well done. <laughs> Last of our four disciplines uh, to be going to Glasgow and representing Australia is the shotgun discipline. We have 12 athletes that have been selected to represent Australia, and they are Catherine Skinner, Letitia Scanlon, Laura Coles, Lauren Mark, Emma Cox, Gay Shale, Adam Vella, Michael Diamond, Paul Adams, Keith Ferguson. Russell Mark and Tom Turner. And again, we're lucky enough to have a couple of those shotgun shooters here today to represent that group. So I'd like to ask uh, Letitia Scanlon and Michael Diamond to come forward. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, Letitia, I'll start with you, ladies before gentlemen. Sure. Um, currently ranked number two in the world now, fresh mm -hmm. from a World Cup win in the USA. So, what sort of added pressure does that add to you going into a Commonwealth Games? None. None at all. <laughs> no, um, within Australia, the Commonwealth Games is looked on as like a very prestigious event. So, it's always exciting to get into a team like this. Um, in terms of representing Australia, I'm so excited. I love putting on the green and gold and, and doing what I do best. So I'm really excited. Um, there's always going to be nerves when you shoot, mm. which is standard. But this is my second Commonwealth Games team, so I'm a little bit more confident because I know what to expect this time. And hopefully I can come out with a medal. Mm, fantastic. And we all hope you can too. So going to your second Com Games, Teach, what is it that you're most looking forward to this time around? Just the competition. I thrive on competition and within the Commonwealth we have such a strong shooting discipline so it's not going to be easy to win. Um, at the World Cup two weeks ago, I think it was three out of the six women were from the Commonwealth. So, I mean, they're world class. So I can't wait. No, I'm really excited and it's always nice to um, make a team and... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And we can tell you're excited, which is exciting for us, so that's great. And over to you, Mr Diamond. Um, I guess some would say arguably one of the best, if not best, shooters that this country's ever produced. You've done it all in this sport. Um, world champion, Olympic champion, Commonwealth Games champion three times. What keeps you coming back for another Commonwealth Games? Oh, more gold medals, most definitely. I, uh, I'm a bit like teaching myself. Uh, I thrive on the competition. Uh, I, I know who my competitors are, and and usually it's only out of a handful of people in the world that we compete against that are, you know, in that handful. So, you know, I love going overseas, representing my country, putting on a jacket, um, attending the opening ceremonies, and winning gold. Mm, fantastic. And without trying to be too cheeky here. You saw that I had two young young shooters up here before, and I won't give your age away. <laughs> but, uh, they're probably a little, they're, they're a little bit younger than you, Michael. But what advice would you give to them, but also to the to the other younger shooters in this team? Uh, I I put myself in their shoes uh, 20 years ago, so the advice I would give to them is to follow your heart, and whatever you do in your in your shooting field, is give it your best. And there's going to be days when you're going to come out on top and there's going to be days when you're not so successful. However, it's how you can absorb the hits and keep moving forward. Mm. Fantastic. Uh, put your hands together. Letitia Scanlon. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up the announcement. I would just, again, on behalf of the Australian Commonwealth Games Association and Shooting Australia, like to wish our 29 athletes all the best. We have a proud history of success at the Commonwealth Games and we know that that great success will continue again in Glasgow. So thank you very much.